Hello, this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, we will show you how to set up key splits for your Complete Control keyboard in order to control several instances of the Complete Control plugin in Ableton Live. This setup is useful for playing live since it allows you to control different instruments simultaneously on your keyboard without having to switch between Complete Control instances. To achieve this setup, you will have to define separate key zones in the controller editor and then configure tracks in Ableton Live to respond to each of these key zones. First, start the controller editor and load an empty template in the Templates tab by choosing Edit, New. You can double-click the template to rename it. The gray frame above the keybed indicates the currently selected range of your Complete Control keyboard. By pressing the octave down and octave up buttons, you are able to move this frame left or right. Next, create a new key zone by pressing the Add button. Define the first key zone's range by dragging the key zone border in the keybed area. In our example, we set our first key zone range from C-2 to B0. Select the key zone you just created by clicking it and go to the Assign tab. Under Channel, define a MIDI output channel for your first key zone by clicking it and dragging up or down. This is the MIDI channel you will set your first instance of complete control to respond in Ableton Live. In our example, we set our first key zone's MIDI output channel to 1. Now launch Ableton Live and load an instance of complete control to an empty MIDI track. Inside Complete Control, load an instrument of your choice to which you want to assign your first key zone. In our example, we load FM8. Make sure you can see the In-Out section by having the I.O. enabled. In the In-Out section of your first instrument's track, choose All Ins as Input Type and Channel 1 as MIDI Input Channel. In case you are using several MIDI input devices, you should select here Complete Control Port 1. If you can't see the Complete Control Port 1 entry here, please make sure you have activated both the track and the remote in the MIDI Sync tab of Live's Preferences. Make sure the Ableton track is record enabled and monitor is set to Auto. To keep a good overview of your setup, we recommend you to assign a color to this Ableton track that corresponds to the color of the key zone on your keyboard. You can define the colors of each key zone in the controller editor. Now, when playing notes on your keyboard within the first key zone, you will hear the instrument you just loaded. Next, go back to Controller Editor and click Add to create a new key zone. Again, drag the borders of the key zone to define a range for your second instrument. Here we set it from C1 to B1. Select the new key zone by clicking it and go to the Assign tab to set this key zone its own MIDI channel. Here we set it to 2. This is the MIDI channel your second instance of Complete Control will respond to in Ableton Live. Below you can use the Transpose field to make sure the key zone range corresponds to the note range you want to play on the instrument you have loaded in Ableton. This allows you to use a key zone located lower on your keyboard to play higher notes on your instrument or vice versa. Now return to Ableton Live and drag a second instance of Complete Control onto a new MIDI track. In this instance, load the second instrument you want to use in your setup. In our example, we load Massive. For this Ableton track, choose Channel 2 as MIDI input channel, so that it responds to your second key zone. Next, record enable both the tracks. To record enable multiple tracks in Ableton, on a Mac hold down the command button on your keyboard and click the record enable button. On Windows, you have to hold down the control button to do this. Again, to keep track of the different instruments in your setup, assign a color to this Ableton track that corresponds to the color of the second key zone on your keyboard. 
The color of the LEDs on the keyboard should respond to the key splits you just set up in the controller editor. If they don't, switch to MIDI mode by holding down the shift button and pressing instance. Now you can play both the instruments you have loaded simultaneously on your keyboard. The first of them will respond to the notes within your first key zone, the second one to the notes within the second key zone. You can now create additional key zones for other instruments and build a very complex setup that best suits your live performance. Here we have built a very complex setup with 8 instruments. As you can see, some instruments share the same MIDI channel. This means that when you play notes on the corresponding key zone, you will hear the output of the two instruments assigned to the same MIDI channel at once. Ableton Live parameters can respond to the MIDI sent by the knobs on your complete control keyboard. Controller Editor also allows you to rename the assigned knobs so that you can see on the display of your keyboard which Ableton parameters they control. Here we have set knobs 5 and 6 to control the volume of Prism Bell and Prism Pad, which share the same MIDI channel. Please note that you can also control other native instruments or third-party plugins loaded in Ableton tracks with the key zones you have set up in the Controller Editor. Now you are ready to build your own multi-instrument setup that best suits your live performance.